executive director's report. Ms. Um, just as a quick update, you can see my report here in the summary. Um, the first project is um, our medical school that we've been working on. Um, you know that the Valdosta School Board um, voted to approve or looked at the memorandum of understanding. One of the things that they asked is that they have time to um, solicit an appraisal. They did sign the MOU and we have signed our portion of the MOU. They are in the process of getting an appraisal with the Valdosta um, High School. Um, and we should hopefully see that um, November, December, and at that point we'll take it back to the client and um, proceed negotiations at that point based on the outcome of that. Um, let's go ahead. Do we now have all hands on deck for this medical school proposal? Yes, sir, we do. Um, so the community is very supportive of the, um, of the project. Um, we have the Chamber of Commerce behind it, we have the city behind it, the county is behind it. Um, we have the Hospital Authority Board who has signed on with the MOU, um, and the school board is on board as well. I think just trying to get due diligence done, and um, the client is also moving more forward with some of the items that um, he has told us he would get back to us on as well. So all sectors in the community on board, no pushback. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Um, I attended IAMC, which is Industrial Asset Management Council, fall forum. Um, we talked a lot about several different items. So this is a forum where we have service providers, which may be site selection consultants, utility companies, departments of econ um, railroads, construction engineering, all the things you need for a project. Um, but it also has corporate end users with Fortune 500 companies that are doing asset management and risk analysis for corporations. And then there's an economic development contingency as well. It's always interesting because we talk about topics from the corporate standpoint and what their concerns are um, and a lot of it is still risk mitigation and how they manage the books and assets and whether they're going to close the plant open and everything but I thought it was interesting we talked about political issues was a topic that they wanted to talk about and um, you know we always talk about election year being a risk and it was interesting that one of the companies said you know it's a risk and it's something that we can't measure and that's something we can't predict or forecast, so our advice is always to hold off until after elections. Um, so our existing industries have been somewhat you know, slow. We've got some expansions that we're working, which is good, but um, again, that's that advice from corporate with risk analysis and risk mitigation. We talked about new forms of manufacturing. I saw Jerry on the plane. We talked a little bit about 3D printing. Um, we talked about manufacturing and how digital manufacturing, smart manufacturing, and lean manufacturing, and how companies need to be working with those, and we talked about global supply chain management. Um, yesterday we were at GEDA, and we heard from three site selection consultants, and they talked about the site selection process and how some of that is changing. Um, and they did mention this, which we all know, which is 10 years ago, they probably visited 8 to 10 of their locations, where today they visit 3. Um, so where 10 years ago we had the opportunity to make an impact, our community got to showcase itself and sell itself, we don't get that opportunity unless it's via a website. Um, so all your information has to be online, obviously. But um, we also talked about how, what are other ways that our community can make, can, you know, educate you or make themselves stand out. And it really started talking about, um, you know, they're looking at what you do to recruit millennials. They're looking at your quality of life. They're looking at, are, is your community putting money into bike trails? Are they putting money into districts in your community? What are they doing as a whole to improve workforce um, and community development? Which was really interesting to hear them talk about that. Companies, because they're having to recruit the younger generation into an aging workforce, um, they want to see communities that have their arms wrapped around the millennials. Um, they did a whole presentation on millennials, which I thought was very interesting. Interesting group of individuals as they are. And um, 
and then talked about how com how communities are standing out and recruiting millennials to their um, communities, whether in and incentivizing them to live there in their community. Um, let's see. Um, headquarter relocations, we talked about that, and a lot of that goes along with that millennial view of community attraction. Let's see, tomorrow, Thursday, um, we have Leadership Lounge, and it's our economic development day, so we'll be speaking to that group. We had a great meeting today with Southwest Georgia Area Health Education Council. Um, they help to provide physician and nurse health care workforce to communities in our region. Um, we hosted Larry Hansen, um, Myrna Ballard, uh, Mayor Gale, and James McGaney to talk about what they're doing here in Valdosta and Lowndes County. Um, we have a South Point Regional Development Authority meeting, which um, I attended this past week. We're doing some bonds for Valdosta State University, and I was not um, elected as chairman. And uh, we also have the High Career Demand Initiative, and our area is um, focusing on health care at the moment. Um, we're going to do a little bit of research to determine, is that the right area for workforce that we need to talk about? Um, and I'm happy to fill you all in. So the high, the high Career Demand Initiative started about two years ago with Governor Neal. And they went around the state and they interviewed the different sectors. And what they've come up with is with the Workforce Opportunity Act, um, those boards will oversee target-specific sectors as it relates to workforce. And so what they'll do is um, bring together um, practitioners and people that have the expertise, the K-12, through the higher ed, and talk specifically about what that sector needs, what type, what, what is the demand, is it nursing, is it technician, um, and how can school K through 12 and the higher eds work together to provide the right training for those individuals? Um, so we attended that meeting and got a lot of really good information, and we'll wait to hear back to see what our next steps are. Um, there is a grant that's $250,000 per region that helps you implement the initiative, and our region, of course, will apply for that through the South Regional Commission. Um, we're meeting with our regional groups and talking about marketing and how we can get out and meet with consultants and um, just, you know, educate on our region. Um, and then I was with the incubator meeting um, with the Chamber of Commerce. And so that concludes my report. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Any questions? All right. Well,